conditional formatting, just as it implies, allows you to apply particular formats to cells within a range of data that meet certain conditions or criteria that you set. You have many options for your conditional formatting. Maybe you're looking for values that are greater than a certain number that you specify or that are equal to or less than a particular number. Maybe you're looking for cells that contain particular words or you know text strings and you want to apply certain color formatting to those. You have uh, many options from earlier versions of Excel, but uh, the conditional formatting options here in Excel 2007 are much richer. So let's go ahead and take a look at these here. The conditional formatting uh, icon and its options exist under the Styles group under the Home tab of the ribbon. And the first thing you want to do is you want to select the range of data that you want to apply the conditional formatting to. Here we're going to look at the different options and I'm going to demonstrate a few of the different possibilities you have here using this feature. All right, now I just want to include the range on my table. I don't want to include the headings, nor do I want to include the row at the bottom that contains the totals or the column at the right with totals in it. I'm going to go ahead and click on that icon. Now here are the main categories we have. Highlight cells rules, for example. And you see the options there to the right of that. You can have conditional formatting, apply a certain formatting that you specify for any cells within a range whose values are greater than. And if I were to click there, it allows me to specify the number. Format cells that are greater than, and I can say, and notice in the background, I already get a preview, and it's already applying the preset conditional formatting to the cells that are greater than, in this case, 24.5. If I say 40, you see how that works. I can leverage that. Say I want to see anything 35 or greater. Still the same. How about let me go down to 30. Oops, then 30. Okay. Now, the standard formatting here is light red fill with dark red text. I have other options as well. I can click on those options and continue to preview them in my data sheet until I find the one that I like and then I can click on OK. Now, if I have to go back and modify any of these values such that they meet that conditional formatting criteria, the formatting will apply in real time. For example, say in September, the number of automobile sales wasn't 10, it was actually 35. 35 exceeds the number of conditional formatting. Once I click off it, that cell takes on the cell fill and font color formatting applied to this condition. You can have several conditions of conditional formatting for a given spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and undo, go back to where I was before. I'm going to go back to conditional formatting. All right, We simply chose greater than. Notice you can also specify any cell values that are less than a particular number or between two values. Let's try that. Between. And let's say anything between maybe 20 and 25. Okay, so I see all the cells whose values fall between those two numbers. Again, I have a drop down to choose from these different formatting options. I can also create a custom format. And if I were to do so, I then have the tabs here for a specific number type of formatting, font formatting, border formatting, and fill formatting. I can select as I prefer. Usually the pre-selected options are sufficient. Okay, let me go back and let me undo. Going back to conditional formatting. We have, you can also use conditional formatting for any cells whose values are equal to a particular number. Um, any cell that contains a string of text that contains a particular word or text string you specify or that include a particular date or any that contain duplicate values. Let's try that one out. Okay, duplicate or unique. See the options you have if you choose duplicate values? You can say I only want to specify all unique values. I want to specify all values who are duplicated and you have your choice for the formatting for that condition. All right, now, top bottom rules, the second category down under conditional formatting. 
we can apply a particular type of formatting to the top 10 items or the top 10 percent or likewise the bottom 10 items or the bottom 10 percent or all those cells whose values fall above average or below average let's take a look at below average and then I can specify what type of formatting I'd like to apply to those cells data bars as I hover over these, you're going to see the data bars actually use a single color, but the length of the bar varies in accordance with the value within the given cell proportionally to those cells that surround it. Color scales uses different colors to represent the values of data in a color gradient type of arrangement. Now you don't want to get too carried away because sometimes if you apply a formatting that's too rich or too colorful you can actually detract from the data that you're trying to portray. You also have the option for icon sets which include little icons typically with a green, yellow, red theme. You'll see the green will apply to the higher values, the yellow to the mid-range values, and the red to the low values. The arrows are directional, green pointing up, yellow to the right, red pointing down. You have flags, you have traffic light indicators, and a number of different options and as I hover over each of these you see in real time how they would apply to your data if we were to commit to one of these items by selecting it and clicking on it. Let me go ahead and undo and go back. Conditional formatting. You also have the ability to create a new rule of your choosing. You have the categories at the top and you have the selection your options at the bottom format only cells that contain and down below um, only cells with a cell value or specific text or dates occurring uh, containing blanks or non blanks errors or no errors you choose your options and you can piece together a rule of your own say I want to apply conditional formatting to in this case there's no text so specific text won't work I'll say cell value and then I have additional options based on what I choose in the first selection between, not between, equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Let me say less than or equal to. I can then type in my value, 40. And then where it says no format set, this is a little preview. I can click on format and apply a format. I can use a fill color for the cells. Maybe I want to you know, give it a, you know orangish color scheme. I also can apply a border around the cell if I choose to using the border features or I can if there were a font I can apply I can actually apply a font or number formatting I'm going to say OK I see the preview there I say OK again and that rule is applied if I want to clear the rules that I have I can go to the conditional formatting icon come down at the bottom it gives me the option to clear rules and you see the options there clear rules from the selected cells so you select your range first or you can simply go to clear rules from entire sheet which would clear any conditional formatting rules that have been built for the sheet that you're on you can also go to manage rules clicking on manage rules would list out the rules here I only have one and I have the, you have the option to create a new rule here edit an existing rule or to delete a rule and you actually if you have more rules listed here you can use the arrows the directional arrows to move them up in order or down in order and some rules then would take priority over others